Hello everyone, welcome back to XSP Green Monster Channel. My name is Riley and I drive a 1997 Chevrolet Suburban and this is kind of my channel on everything I do to it, car audio wise and just general maintenance and stuff like that. Sorry that I haven't been posting in four or five days. I just got really busy in the machine shop with my work and I was just exhausted by the time I got home. So today we're actually going to be working on installing the wood pieces into the truck. And first I just have a little bit of stuff to finish up. I have to pre-drill some holes for two pieces actually connect together on the edges. So I'm just gonna show that and show how I usually set this up so it works a little bit better and it's easier for me. So yeah. Okay, so here are two pieces that connect on the edges and to do this a little bit easier on myself, I'm just gonna set them up here and press them together, make sure they're at as close to a 90 as I can get them without using a square. And this is how I usually put all these pieces together is I will just go on one side of it and pre-drill with an eight inch bit for the screws that I'm using. And I'll immediately put a screw into that hole just to hold it. And I'm going to go and do it on the other side as well. And now that I have two pieces holding in, it's sturdy enough where I can just go and I'll just pre draw the holes and the screws will go in there um, while I'm in the vehicle, not out here. And since this piece does have a slight bow, I don't know if you can see that ball. Well, actually, I'm going to put one screw just in the middle. I'm going to push it out from the other side and then pre-drill this hole and put a screw in there. So we'll hold the entire piece flat and make sure all the holes are lined up properly. Okay, so now I've pre-drilled all of these holes along the edge. I am just going to clean up a little bit of a mess that I created. And then I will bring everything out to the truck and I'll install it in the box. Alright, out in the car now, in the truck, and I'm going to start trying to put this together. This might actually be a lot more difficult than I thought. So I'm going to set you guys inside the box. Um, I don't know how much you're going to be able to see, but basically I'm just going to need to put these two pieces together inside the box because I can't fit them through the sub hole if they're outside the box. So I'm going to set you guys in there. I'm going to try to get these two pieces together. Just kidding. The motor force of the sub makes the screen black, so I'm not doing that. Hmm. This could be difficult. I think I'm just gonna have to kind of do it and then show you guys the aftermath, so that's what I'm gonna do. All right, focus. Or don't focus, and I will make you focus. All right, I got those two pieces together. I don't know if you see that, but I am actually dripping in sweat just from trying to get two pieces together in this thing. This should be the hardest part. There's actually drips of my sweat inside the enclosure. It's very hot inside the enclosure, even though it's only like 50 degrees outside right now. But I got these two pieces together. Let me show you. There it is just putting those screws in along that back side so those two pieces are connected. Why well, I showed you that I was drilling out. That's what I've been doing. So now I need to mount that piece up into that corner of the box. So that's what I'm gonna work on now. Okay, as you can see, right there, it's in there. I am dripping in sweat once again. I don't know why it gets so hot inside of that box, but it does. And I am just 
really need to take a shower after this, but I got held in with a couple screws. I think I'm going to have a new issue, and the new issue is that, if you could see, there isn't much room there, and I'll show you guys. So this is what it's looking like with the square pieces in there. And you can see there's the big beast of a DC level 5, 18. And I might be able to fit 45 right down there in that piece. But I don't think I'm going to be able to fit one up here. I'll have to see. I'm going to do some test fitting and see where I can fit those just before I go any further. This piece is definitely going there. I'd like to get the two 45s in there. But I might have to come up with some interesting ways for them to actually fit. But yeah. That's where I am right now. I'm exhausted. I've only been out here for like 20 minutes, maybe. There's just not much room to work, and it makes it really difficult to lift things because you're working at really weird angles, all sorts of stuff. Also, if you're interested, I use these coarse thread two inch construction screws just for wood. I found they're fine, especially when I'm putting in like probably close to 100 screws in the thing. They work fine. I used to use them to hold my uh, big subs, but I figured that's just not quite enough to hold up a 100 pound sub. So, yeah, that's where I am right now. I'll pick you guys up if I make any more progress. I honestly don't know how much I'm going to be able to do tonight with how exhausting this is, but I'll do my best to do as much as I can tonight. We'll just have to see. I'm going to test fit the 45s and then we'll see where we're at. All right, so ran into a new problem. I can't actually fit this piece in there with those other pieces installed. It's contacting magnet right there and hang the back of that and it will not go in any further. So that's something I'll have to figure out. I have a feeling I have to cut down these 45s anyways again just to get them to fit up inside of this and probably in other sections of this. So I'll probably just bring it to someone to have 45s cut like here and here so I have more 45s to work with. But yeah, that's where I'm at. So I guess I'll just go finish getting in the screws for that so that's held in. And then that'll be it for this video. Sorry about being a little bit short of a video, but I'm just going to get all the screws in for that. And then we will, I will wrap it up. Thought I was gonna be able to get more done on this, but looks like I need a little bit more work on these 45s for them to actually work with this box. All right, we're getting there. I put in some ear protection, ear protection, because it's just really loud with the impact inside the box. So, almost there. Got the impact there, got a bunch of screws lined up, ready to be put in. That's the last ones. I've got all the other ones all around the edges and all down the bottom put in. So now I just gotta do those last couple ones and then we'll be good. So I'm gonna get those done and then I will see you guys after. All right, so I'm back up in the house now and that's all I'm gonna get done for today since the 45s wouldn't fit into the uh, box without, with all the other angles in there. So I'm going to have to get those cut down like I said earlier, but yeah, that's going to do it for today. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.